Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. This is Speeches October coming to you with another makeup tutorial. Um, I am in the mood for a fall look, so I decided to create one today for you guys. I hope you love it. And um, thumbs up the video. By the way, the brushes that I use to create this look is from Juvia's Place. These are the brushes. I got a little help <laughs> using um, my blush brush from Sapphire because there wasn't one. However, the foundation that I use, foundation that I use is Hourglass, Hourglass new foundation stick. Um, what does it say here? Vanish seamless finish foundation stick. And I am in color almond is my color almond the lashes that I use were a lord lashes volume I also use uh, Juvia's place masquerade palette and I use the shade I use the shade Burkina, Burkina for my transition. I use um, Fulani for, um, I use it directly over my transition. And on my lid, I use Calabar. So this is, this is um, Burkina, this is Fulani, and this is Calabar. This beautiful cranberry look. So those are the colors that I use today. Anastasia Beverly Glow Kit. And the lipstick that I use is from My Cosmetics. And it is Sin. And I use the blush also from My Cosmetics. Swiss Chocolate. It kind of looks like sweet as cocoa. But in a matte shade. And I really love it. I use um, Laying Low. To prime my eyelid and for fun for um powder today I use makeup forever pro finish powder I love this powder very much to prime my face as I use um elf this elf primer it says elf blemish control face primer that's what I use So I hope you love how I created this look and if you have any questions please leave a comment down below some sort of video share and subscribe to my channel so that you see more of my videos for uh, tuning in I appreciate my subscribers and I I wish you guys a blessed day Bye. so my tutorial today is based on Juvia's Place Masquerade palette First shadow I'm using today in my crease area is Burkina. And the next shadow that I'm going to use is Fulani. This is Juvia's Place 117 Precision Brush. And I'm using that to blend my crease area. It's always a good idea to use a shade similar to your skin color when you are blending your crease area. And so I picked those colors and went in my crease area with it. And I'm just blending a little bit above my crease area with that precision brush from Juvia's Place. After blending in my transition colors, I'm now going in with Laying Low from MAC Cosmetics to prime my lid for the next shade. And I'm just using my fingertip to blend in that color. All that shade. I then went in with a blending brush okay. just to blend the shade and the transition colors together. So on my lid, I'm going with the shade called Calabar, and I'm just blending that on my lid.
Next I'm going to do is blend out those shadows that I used on my lid in my bottom lash area. And I'm going in with Burkina Fulani and Calaba. And now I'm going in with my eyeliner. And I'm going to love to use this um, eyeliner in my waterline because it's very buttery or creamy. It's easy to blend. Basically, I would say it's easy to blend and easy to use. And I always like to use. I'm using a smudger brush to smudge under my eye. Now I'm using Juvia's Place pencil brush and that's MAC Cosmetics Black Track that I use on there. So in my crease area I'm going with this other beautiful shade called Makeda from Juvia's Place palette as well. Uh, color correct right now. I'm just using a flat brush to blend all my concealer in that area. Let's contour kit. I spray a little bit of Fix Plus to that flat brush to blend all that orange corrector that you see me blending on here. Because I think I went a little too crazy with the color corrector color corrector so the foundation today is hourglass vantage seamless finish foundation stick the shade I'm using is almond and this foundation is a 12 hour long and so I'm just going to go ahead and sweep that across my face and I'm going to use the flat brush from Juvia's Place to blend it. I think I went a little too crazy with the color corrector and because of that I had to use more foundation so that um, you know it don't show how looking funny on my face. And I'm just blending my face, my forehead, under my chin. I'm just making sure that that area is well blended. Now I'm going to and I also got this Revlon concealer is medium beige and I'm going to mix them up for my contour. So I'm just placing those uh, concealers on my nose, beneath my eye, above my cubist bowl and my chin and on my forehead. I don't know guys if it's just me but I like to see my face when I set the contour, <laughs> set it for contour. Um, I just do that. It's just something fun that I do and I like to do. So I hope it helps somebody else to, you know, set their contours of their face. Now I'm going in with a um, flat brush from Juvia's Place. And I'm just going to blend all of that contour of, of my face. I'm going to blend it. And I'm going to go in with MAC NW58 to set the hollows of my cheek in a little bit. And I'm still using the flat brush to blend out that area, my nose. After blending my face, um, after blending all of that concealer off my face, I'm going in with a powder brush from Juvia's Place and I'm going to use Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder. And that shade that I'm using is 174. And I'm just going to set my face with that and I'm setting every where I place the concealer for contouring. So I'm setting that place with powder and I'm just going on my cheek 
on my jawbone, I should say, with that banana powder to cut that area. Make the contour sharper, pretty much. Blush that I'm using today is from MAC Cosmetics and it is Swiss Chocolate. The blush brush I'm using is Sephora's Pro Air blush brush and guys when I got Swiss chocolate as uh, the blush I didn't think I would like it but now that I'm applying it it looks very beautiful it and the brush I'm using is A33 that I see a lot of youtubers use and I really love it The lip pencil that I'm using today is MAC Cosmetics Night Moth and I'm pairing that with MAC Cosmetics Lipstick in Sin, S-I-N. It is a matte lipstick and I usually use it during fall and so I decided to use it today for this look and it all came out well. I'm going to go in with a flat brush and a concealer to clean around my lips and I'm going to follow that with MAC Studio Fix Plus to set my face. Whoa! I was spraying my hair instead of my face. Okay, looks like sister girl is enjoying her look now. I'm going to use Maybelline um, mascara to just uh, blend in that with the false eyelashes and also my lower lashes. And voila, there you go. This is the final look. I hope you will thumbs up this video, like and subscribe to my channel so you see more of my videos. Yes, girl. Yes, girl. I'm loving it. It's bye bye from Peaches October. See you in my next video. To add the hair I'm wearing this tutorial is from Eunice Hair. It's an AliExpress company, I believe, but it's really okay. It's a beautiful hair, very soft. I made this into a wig cap. Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. Today's look is a cranberry look. I'm in the mood for fall and so um blah, blah, blah. Okay. 